Okay, Eddie, here we are in Carol's kitchen. Uh -huh. Or should I say the outhouse, really? But here we are, we're going to start our apple pie making. Oh, okay, it's very good, Carol. So, what I've done, I've got some apples, as our viewers can see, from my mum's garden. So, I've got Lovely. these cooking apples, sweet apples, etc. And what we do, me and Carol, we're going to do an apple pie and maybe some apple tarts or whatever, but the apple is going to be the theme. So the first thing you do to make an apple pie, we're going to go through the system, is you take an apple, like this one, right. and then what we do, you jab the middle bit, the, so the, the core of it, and what you do, you turn it, and then you just poke that through like that. So you've got like one of them, like a little hole through, so you can see. Carol's already done a few, so that's what you do. Then you take this apple that you've done, and what you do, you have to peel off the skin. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little demonstration on that. So just keep it on me, Carol. So just keep it on the, on the object. So what I do, just going to skin that off like that. Okay, obviously you've got these little bits there. Um, so I do that, Carol. Um, so we've got like that. Okay. Okay, so you've got like that. So here I am, helping yeah. Eddie. Yeah. He's telling me these are his mother's yeah. apples off the tree in her garden. Yeah. So he's telling me they're really lovely and sweet. So we got a little bit of a workshop going on here today. Mm -hmm. We're making apple tarts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we go. As Eddie's already demonstrated, we're coring them. Yeah. Okay. We're getting the middles out as so, like this. Okay. <laughs> And then we peel them, yeah. as I have already demonstrated, because um, I've got a new name now. Yeah. I think my name now, since Eddie's been down, is Carol Ramsey. Oh, like that, that's you know? good. So, as I said, yeah. anyway, looking forward to eating these, these apple tarts. Send them up for you, Astrid, okay? But be warned, apple tart. Really do make you oh, fart. Oh, very good. <laughs> so we've got about we've got about twenty in my bag. So what we do then? So that's you got the idea. So you peel them and then just run a few through the tap water there, Carol. So the ones that we've done. Okay. And then so we just cut it off for the moment then. Oh, here we go then. So just, just giving them a wash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give them a wash. Later on, maybe slicing them. Yeah. Sugary so, and then maybe yeah. stewing them just yeah. a little bit. Okay. I'll All be right. on the pastry making now shortly. Yeah. So um. Tart making is in operation. All right, thank you, Carol. So that's the end of the of the first of the first phase. All right. Then. So hello, Carol. We're back again. So we just corked them and, and sliced them. So what are we actually going to be doing now? So now this is the getting the good bits of the apple. Yeah. Ready, okay. And we're going to very finely slice it just like this. Yeah. Okay. We're getting all the good bits of the apple finely slicing. Because this is eventually going to go into our pastry, into the t into the, um, the apple pie tin, you know. So just like this, nice thin slices of the apple. This takes a little while. Yeah. So, but you've got to do the prepping up here, you know. So, um, it's all good. The prepping is really important. It is, yeah. So getting all the good apple, thin slices, and then eventually we're going to kind of very lightly stew the apple mm -hmm. before we make oh the God. pie. I can barely go on the teacups. So a little bit That's more how prep busy to do. I get these days. Okay. Okay. Your great choices. And, uh, take, take a little bit of time to do this. So uh, be with me. Okay. I've just had a nap on the You'll get your turn now in a minute, Eddie. Okay. okay. okay yeah. Fabulous kids, Owen and Phoebe. So, um, just to say, you, 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 we both usually wear pinnies. Yeah, we're well, very sorry, but I'm just putting them in the wash. So, um, you know, yeah. it's not going to have any effect on the taste of the quality of the pie, the fact that we are not wearing pinnies. But just to let our customers and guests know that usually, you know, we do wear pinnies in the kitchen, but unfortunately, you know, so any, anybody out there, health and safety reasons, always wear a pinny. Yeah, and we all clean down. So it's very important for anybody who wants to do any cooking or prep. Yeah. Prep's very important. Clean as you go along. Is that your motto? Clean hands, oh, clean pennies, if you can, but um, clean hands, you know, and it will be good. He'll be brilliant. Okay, so, we're getting through the apples. Yeah. Um, As I said, we're going to do a bad prep involved, but plants, uh, plants yeah, will be able to grow in her bedroom. Okay. It's very good, Carol, very good, thank you. Okay, 
Okay, so at the minute now we are. So I'm just gonna what you showed me earlier on. I'm lovely, just gonna, I'm just very gonna, very finely chopping yeah. the, the apples, get the good bits, just trimming them down. Yeah. Yeah, I do actually. Have you done much um, apple pie making? Not apple all pie. These apples. Yeah, well, when I worked in the youth hostel, we used to get groups of 50, 60 kids, and you know, apple might be on the menu, or or, or you know, black blackberries or something like that. So pies in general, I have done. Um, but apples is always a good thing because obviously in this sort of country we've got apple trees and stuff like pears so apples are quite a nice one and you can always mix them up you know they can have um, ice cream with it they can have custard you know stuff like that so you can always top it up you can have it hot or cold later um, so that's it really Carol Mm -hmm. It's not a traditionally done thing, that is, but it's something that I've picked up in the past. You won't taste it that much. And I'm also going to add a sprinkling of caster sugar. Right. Because this will help sweeten not too much caster sugar, mine, but the apples are not too sour, even though they're cookers. They're not too sour, but I'm adding just a little bit of sugar. It'll make a little bit of a juice and it'll help the apple cook. A little bit, and we're only going to cook it for a very short time, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to leave that. We're going to stir it occasionally just to get that apple mix in. And um, so, sorry, how long would that be on a timer for, roughly? So this is going to take in this kind of a pan, um, say 15 minutes right, okay. until the apple starts to soften. Right. Okay. okay. All right, Carol. So we just so cut I've got it from a high heat, a cook heat. Yeah. I mean. It depends on your pans in the house. You can do it on the hob, on the gas, on the electric, in a saucepan. It's, the, it's just the same thing. This is just an electric one. It's just going to help cook the apple down slightly, soften it up, get it a little bit sweeter before we start making the pies. Okay. okay? All right then. So there we are. Okay. The, Thank you, Carol. Put the lid on that yeah. and leave it for 10 minutes. Okay then. Thank you. <laughs> Carol mentioned earlier on, you can put it in this big stew pot here and you can put your apples there. But Carol's also showed me another way you can do it. You can take it just a normal pan, put your apples in. Is that right Carol? Yeah. Put some sugar lemon. in. Yeah. Okay. And some lemon in. Yeah. And then just stir it for about 15 minutes with a little bit of water maybe. So that's two different ways you can do it. Again then Carol, so they're basically nearly sort of shooed, eh? Yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah, we've cooked them just slightly, okay? So now they've fluffed up a little bit and they're a little bit soft around the edges and also our apple is tasting really nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's you know, we, we've added just the right amount of sugar yeah. and um, a little bit of lemon. You can't even taste the lemon, but the apple is looking really nice and white because the brown bits have disappeared and uh, we don't want brown bits in when we cut into the apple tart, do we? So what I'm going to do now, because I've made a little bit of juice that yeah. come out from the sugar, yeah. I'm going to put it into the calendar, okay? Right. Over a bowl. I don't want it to be too wet before it goes into the pastry. So we're just going to put it into a calendar, let any excess juices come out to there. I'm also going to take it from the other pan, okay? This one is not so bad. You know, there's not a lot of moisture in this one because we're going to use the whole mixture for the pie. We'll just put it all together, let any moisture drip out and let it cool because we don't want to be putting off apple straight into our pastry. Okay, so we're going to just let it cool for 10 minutes. All right then. There okay, we are. So these are our lovely, delicious looking apple. Beautiful. Okay, Carol, okay. thank you. Hello Carol, so we're back again, um, so just talk us through like obviously with the oven and, and whatever you're doing now. So. Okay, so we, we've just preheated the oven now, 180 um, on the electric one, fan assisted oven this is. So these um, apple pies, they're going to be medium sized apple pies, mm -hmm. so in my experience I think they'll take 20-25 minutes to cook at 180 in the electric oven. Okay, so now my partner in crime would like uh -huh. to... Um, Make two apple pies and they don't want to be exactly the same. You would like to add some spices to mm -hmm. the one. So I'm going to separate my mix. This is my apple mix which has been partly stewed. We're going to try and get two out of this. So we're going to divide 
the apple equal measures, okay? That looks about equal. I got yeah. enough there for, for two pies. So Eddie, so. Eddie would like to add some spices to the one. We got mixed spice, we got nutmeg, we could use cinnamon, whatever spices you add in the house. Um, I'm preferential, you know, yeah, preferential yeah, yeah. to yeah. taste of the family. Yeah, of course. Eddie would like to use some nutmeg. Yeah. Okay, so we got nutmeg you. I don't use measures usually. Uh, I'm pretty good at it, so I'm going to add a little bit. Not too much, you can overdo it, spoil your apple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mix it through. By the way, my apple is cooled down quite a lot now. There's yeah. hardly any moisture in it. It's just pure apple. With this one's with um, a bit of nutmeg. Always taste, I guess, mm -hmm. um, to see if uh, it needs a little bit more, maybe. Or is that tasting good, Carol? Okay, so that have changed the flavour of the apples, obviously. Yeah. Um, I think I'll put in just a little bit more. Not much. Just a little bit. That would be fine, okay? Alright So um so we're gonna do one plain apple pie and we'll add just a little bit of uh, nutmeg into this one. I think Eddie likes to spice things up. Yeah, a I like to just to you know, just something different. So in future when I do apple pie properly for my for, for you know, Daniel or whatever, my sister, I can use these two as sort of um you know, the two that you're doing, which one I prefer, like, you know? Yeah, okay, so there's two apple mixes, one plain, one with nutmeg. Hello, Carol, so we're back again. So we're nearly there now for to put the apple pie into the oven. So what's the final thing we do before we put it into the oven? Well, the final thing, once we've got our, our tarts ready made into the tins, will be to brush them over with a bit of milk. Yeah. Um, we're using milk because we don't really want a shiny surface on the pastry. Um, we want it to be just golden brown and we're going to sprinkle some sugar mm -hmm. on it, just on the top, not much, just a sprinkling. Okay, but before we get to that stage, we have to roll out our pastry, okay? okay? So, I've prepared my surface here, nice and clean work surface. I'm sprinkling a little bit of flour on it so the pastry's not going to stick, okay? So, I'm just getting my rolling pin and use my pastry. So I'm just going to knead my pastry a little bit. So can you just talk about the pastry, two ways you can do so the pastry? So this is short crust pastry, okay? This is just made with plain flour, margarine, butter, whatever you like to use, whatever you like to work with. Don't work the pastry for too long, okay? Make it into a nice manageable bowl of pastry, okay? Mm -hmm. So keep on lightly dusting it so it's not sticking to the surface yeah okay so that's manageable okay it's all mixed in okay now we can start our rolling okay so when when you're rolling pastry it's always one way all right keep moving your pastry okay and you're rolling it one way okay Okay, so I can feel this again a little bit sticky, so just keep on rolling it an easy way. Turn it over. Yeah. Okay. Because you've done plenty of this at the youth hostel in Dana Wells and Brecon, didn't you? You had loads of school children. Yeah. You must have done tons and tons of apple pie, etc. I yeah. did. So, going on whatever size tin you're using. Yeah. Okay, don't work the pastry too much and don't have it too thick either. But that looks good enough now for the size yeah. tins we're using okay. for one. Uh, so, I'm just going to bring my tin over. Yeah. These are non-stick tins, they should be fine. So, I'm just bringing my pastry. Oh yes. And then putting it over the top. So now, very, very gently, yeah. I'm going to work it into the tin. Okay. As I said, hopefully this tin is non-stick, so this should be fine. So very gently, get in the tin. If you're just using an old tin, maybe you would grease it, but I'm not. I'm going to try and get away with it. Mm -hmm. So there we are, okay? It's all in nicely to the tin, okay? Working it in. 
all the way around till you've got that secure in there. Flatten it slightly on the top so then I'm lifting it up. Yeah. And I'm working away from me. Yeah. Okay. This way then I'm working it to me. Stops the, the pastry shrinking too much and going back into the tin. Because that will, will happen. So there's my one tin. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Um, in a couple of minutes I will wet this so that when we go to put the lid on so it, it will stick together, it will bind together. Okay, but that's the one done there. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay Eddie, so it's over to you. So I'm just going to go through what you just done. So obviously you've got a nice clean surface. Uh, put some flour down and then we're going to roll it and you said one way. Yeah, roll it. Just so, just turn the pastry. Okay, so that's good. We're looking for a nice circular. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, no, and turn it around the other way as well. Yeah. So as we can make a circle. That's right. So that's, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it don't need to be too big. In fact, I think that's... Do you think that might be That's enough? looking pretty good. Okay. okay. Oh, you just um, you just rolled the pastry now, so we're going to complete one sort of tin. So what do we do now? Okay, so now I got my tin line for the pastry. This is our apple mix. It's gone quite cool now. Um, so now I'm going to put the apple. It's nice, nice mix for you. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of filling. Okay. This is our um, nutmeg. Apple tart, okay. You can see because it's a slightly different colour. You can smell it. I can now, smell it as yeah. well. Okay. Okay. So what else I'm going to do now? That's done with a little bit of my milk with a pastry yeah. brush. I'm just going to dampen the edges of the pastry. Okay. Because when we put the lid on, we want them to kind of bind together, so as the filling one kind of rolls out or anything. It doesn't matter if some of the if the milk goes on to the apple. That's, that, that's nothing. Okay, so I'll take it over to buy you. Yeah. And you've already got one rolled up, haven't you? And then you? I got the lid already done. Yeah. Okay. So very gently. Oh, yes. I mean, don't worry about playing with it. Yeah. Um, and then, with your fingers, you're going to crimp it. So to What's speak. that word again? Crimp it. Or alternatively, you can use a fork. That'll um, squeeze the two edges together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes we. It's like everything in life. There's an art to everything, isn't there? You know, we we would crimp it. I like that. We've never heard that before. And yeah, or like I said, um, it was a fork. Mm -hmm. It's a, a nice effect on the edge of the pie, anyway. Don't forget to make an ear roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the steam have got to be able to come out of this. Okay, so we're lifting it back up very carefully. Hopefully them two edges have now bound together. Okay, so now we're taking any excess pastry off, making it all up. Okay. Taking it right off. That's a, you're a pro, car. Okay, so there's the pie. Oh, okay. Next next job to yeah. complete it. Okay, the first one, okay, yeah. Okay, how's that looking? Oh, that's a, that looks immaculate. <laughs> that looks like... So, I've still got my milk, my pastry brush. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, so we're going to very... Don't put too much milk on. I know it doesn't really matter, mm. but just lightly... Yeah. It doesn't matter if the milk kind of puddles up a bit in the crimping. It'll soon bake off. All you need to do is one layer of milk, so this will help the golden colour come in on the pastry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get it all on there. Not too much because you don't want to make your pastry too soggy or anything, okay? Oh, well, here I got like a sugar dispenser yeah. with some caster sugar that's fine, finer yeah. than granulated. Would you put cinnamon on top there? No, I wouldn't. You, Not really. No, you, you, wouldn't. you don't okay. really need it. You All just right. need a bit of sugar. sugar. Okay. You could, if you add some spare pastry, make a couple of leaves if yeah. you're artistic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe we'll do that on the next one. Okay, so yeah. that's going into the Is oven. he ready? So what I'll do now, Carol, I'm going to open the oven door. It's been preset, as you said. So how long, yeah. roughly, would you leave the warm up for? Well, it's until this is golden. Oh, warm up the oven, warm yeah. up for. So I'll be just five minutes. Five minutes. That's what we got to do. I've been on quite a long time. Okay. So it's perfect. So you're going to give it the thumbs up? Well, we'll okay. do that when. Okay. When it comes so what back I'm going to do is open the first one for you. 
Yeah. Okay. So then put him onto the left hand side so we know he's right, the first so one I'm in. Gonna put it Oh, onto the fun. top, okay? Yeah. That's going to take 15, 20 minutes yeah. to golden brown. Okay. Hello, Carol. So we're back a bit again. So, um, do you think your pie number one's ready? So I just, do. Okay. Hopefully, it's looking golden brown in my oven. So, um, I'm just going to get out um, a rack of some kind just to put it on. It's going to stay in the tin anyway. Okay. So, I'll just get a rack out, um, I'll put it by you. It's been in the oven now for about 20-25 minutes, it's golden brown. I don't really want it to go in brown now. Uh, I don't, yeah, so um, to me, it's looking like not a bad apple pie there. So can you just talk okay. us through how you know, because obviously it's got to be what, 74, 75 temperature? So just as an experienced person cooking over the years and you sort of got the skills obviously, so why would you, in your mind's eye, how would you know that's sort of okay-ish? Well, because I can see that the pastry is golden brown, yeah. obviously. It's um, nice and, it feels cooked. To me, yeah. it just feels cooked. Okay, I good. can also see that the bottom layer is also got that cooked appearance. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's cooked. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just that's, take, that's fantastic. Take the chance, okay. you know? And what would you, you know, with the apple pie over the years, what, what would you enjoy with an apple pie for well, dessert? Um, what could you have with it? You could have your custard, you could have your cream, you yeah. could have your ice cream if you want to, mm -hmm. or you could just eat it nice and warm. Yeah. You know, if, if you're one of these people who yeah. don't like dairy products, <laughs> there's nothing like a nice wedge of apple pie, is there? Oh, okay. You know, so. Yeah, that's true. I'm and also, gonna, oh, sorry, Carol, yeah, go okay. on. I'm just going to dust it over a little yeah. bit more with a little bit more caster sugar just to give it a more yummy appearance. Mm -hmm. And, um, and if you didn't eat all that pie in one go, could you save it for the next time and have it cold or reheat it? Of course you could. Yeah. Um, anything like this, um, probably put it in when it's completely cold, keep it chilled in the fridge. Yeah. Um, and like everything else, eat it as soon as for, for the best from yeah. your apple pie. But I'm sure it will be good for two days. Okay then. Okay. That's... And it's always best a little bit warm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. if, if it is cold, you can always gently reheat it in the microwave. Yeah. And um, there we go. Well so, then. Thank enjoy. you very much, Carol. Hello, Eddie. So, we're we back to you now. You were making our second apple pie. Okay. So I'm going to flour this down now. Obviously, a clean surface, best you can. Just going to put that like that, okay? Carol usually makes her own pastry, but at the moment we're sort of um, short for time. So what she done is she went down to the supermarket the other day and she got these ready-made ones that you can get in any supermarket. So there's two ways that you can do it, okay? So it's fine. So what I'm going to do, I'll just cut it up. I'm going to take it out. Okay, got a pair of scissors. I'm just going to cut them out like that. Okay, and just put it all in like that. Okay. It's enough to make it into a lump. You can just roll okay. it. Okay, and it's going to roll it. And she told me before, try and keep the length ways like that. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, roll, that's enough. Around. Okay, yeah, okay, Carol. Like that, yeah. yeah enough there. That way there. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is lay that over like that. I'm going to yeah. tuck him in. Okay, Carol, just going to tuck him in. Doesn't have to be perfect, but... um. What's that word that you said before? Just chop him in like that? Well, we're just going to push it down into the tin, yeah. make, making sure it's um, level all the way around. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then get a knife yeah, and, and cut it away from, from you. Is that yeah. right? You yeah. said away yeah. from the body. Yeah. That way it should. Yeah. And then this pastry that's left over is going to be for the top. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's all good stuff. Okay, as you can see, it's a bit of a bit of a quick job, but you've got the idea, uh, viewers. So you've got that there. That's nice and that there. So what I'm going to do now, um, as you know, Carol already done these apples for me. They were sort of stewed a bit, so just take the bite out of them. So we're just going to put them straight in. Yeah. We might have too much apple, but so what? We're going to just load him up. We'll see how we get on. Okay, I quite like that actually. Um, it's best to have more in than less, I would imagine. So when you're eating something, it's all in there. So Carol takes that away like that. Uh, sort of, I won't say leftovers, but obviously you try to get a bit more life back into them again. 
Okay. What I'm going to try and do, get them out of the way a minute. Just going to roll that. Because basically it's just for the top. It's just for the top basically. So. As Carol mentioned before, you know, for the bottom base you want it quite thick. For the top bit you just really want it just a bit of a layer on top really. I think that might just about do it Carol. A little bit more. A bit more, okay. okay Str stretch it out a bit. Stretch it out a bit Carol. Okay. That's alright. Okay, Ed, so leave it at that. What I'm going to do now is um, do that. It's going to just put a bit of milk over. Around yeah. the, the edge, around, around more than the apple. Yeah. Okay. That's good like so that. So you've got a well crammed with apple, that's going to be yeah. such a good apple pie, Ed. Well, Plenty of apple in there. That's um, good. I mean, obviously we're just doing it a quick job. So yeah. then what Carol said to me then do is, obviously you roll out the second paste and you sort of put it like that. So obviously when you put it onto the um, pie, so hopefully that's going to go in one. Okay. Well so that's all right. That's all right, Carol. That's clear. We can patch it up. We can patch. We can patch it up. It's like anything in life, you can patch it up. Now we're going to do that. Is that right? Yeah. And we're going to make sure we put our thumbs on it, make them two edges where right. we got the so just bond together. Okay. So just bond keep together. Don't mind if I've done it. Just um. Okay. So once something's fell on the floor, so obviously health and safety, everybody. So don't do what I've just done. So do that. Then I'm going to cut it again. Obviously away from me because I don't want to stab myself because Carol doesn't really want to take me to the hospital. Much as she likes me, she really doesn't want to do that. Now what was that word you said Carol? I was quite impressed with that word that you said. Well we was going to make a bit of a, an edge to our yeah. pie, okay? What's that word and that we you said? We was going to crimp it with our crimp fingers. Crimp it, that's the word I like. we can do a nice little yeah. pattern on the edge of your tart if you yeah. want to. Just by using a, a, the edges of a fork. No. So I've got to, so I've got to, so yeah. we're going to kind of yeah. do it. All right. Oh yeah. Like that. Okay. Okay. So if right you just way around. do that for me. So just keep, keep it on. nice just and tidy. Keep it on the pastry. Let's go back. Yeah. Let's go down like that. Okay. As you can see, it's not perfect, but um, obviously the second time or the third time I do it, it's like anything trial and error. So if you want, okay. So what I'm going to do, Carol said before you, you sort of um, do a little cross in the middle, give it a bit of air. Go into the pastry, make yeah. it like right, an in incision. It, yeah. This yeah. one, by the way, has got no um, sp uh, spice or cinnamon okay, or fine. anything. Okay. But what I'm going to do, this is a special one for Carol. So I'm just going to do a little C for Carol. Okay. Just a little C for Carol. Okay. So as you can see, X marks the spot, okay. C marks Carol, and oh, then good. we're going to put it in the, in the oven in a minute, so I'm just going to have a drink. But first of all you're going to put some milk on it, sprinkle it with some sugar, mm. just to make the oh, finishing really, touches. really, really nice. So, I'm just going to do that again. We need some sugar. Where's the sugar gone? The sugar is you. It's disappeared. So there you go. Just keep, just, don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, okay. So, <laughs> What are we going to do, everybody? Well, as you can see, and I'm just, 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 as you can see, put the sugar on. That's if the sugar comes out, mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's come. Because Carol, Carol likes a lot of sugar. So I think, you think that's an okay, Carol? Yeah, is that, is that I, mean, I did make you a couple of leaves. You could, for a little oh, bit of decoration, right. yeah. stick them on there, yeah. please. So, you want the leaves. What do the leaves represent? Well, they don't represent anything, but they, right. you could say they represent the leaves of the trees that the apples right. come off. The four seasons, maybe? Or is that a bit if too dark? If you want, yeah, okay. if you want. But we need them brushed with a bit of milk. Did I just do that? Yeah, but we need the leaves brushed with oh, a bit of milk the as leaves. well. Right. And okay. a little sprinkle of sugar on each of them. Right. We want them to stay on the, the top of the, yeah, uh, we want it. We want the pie. Yeah, Okay. I'll tell you what. This it's a passable, it's good. It's and good. then it's going into the oven Right, then. so... For another 20 minutes. So what we can do is then, everybody will tear it open. As you can see, one pie is already done. Hopefully number two pie is going to be really good. So I'm going to put that in there. So what do you reckon, Carol? 25 minutes, yep. 30 minutes? Push it into the oven a yeah, little bit more. Push it into the oven a little oh, bit right, more. Oh, right, okay. Okay, slam it. So, all I can say is... 
Cheers, Carol. Thanks for the advice and all that. Um, you know, obviously now I should hopefully pass my GCSEs on making apple pie. Okay, so when wine comes in, we can have a bit of a discussion afterwards of it. So thank you very much and cheers. You're very, very welcome and good luck. Right, okay, Ed. So here we are back again, final stages of our pie making. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I believe that one that's in the oven now should come out. Yeah, you just mentioned earlier on to me, Carol, that 25 half an hour should be okay. So what we're going to do, viewers, we're just going to... Oops, don't want to burn me fingers. Careful now, careful. Just general. So you can see it's nice and crispy, nice and brown. Usually you get a, a fob. It's um, a like... Oh, sorry, it's like 76, 77. Again. So do you think that's okay, Carol? Yeah. Okay. So... I just say thank you everybody, uh, thanks for my viewers, thanks for everybody. Special thank you to Carol because she's talked me through this process. I used to do it at the white chain, but in years ago we used to just open the tins of uh, apples, sling them in. But this is the pro way of doing it, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to do a final finale later on. We're just going to eat the apple pie with some ice cream or custard or whatever. And that's it really, so hope you sort of, you know, whatever. So for now, thank you very much everybody. Okay, Ed, here we are, decision time. The tasting, the proof was in the tasting. Okay then, Karen, so all I can say is thank you. I just want to thank you for helping me to do apple pie. This originally comes from my mum's garden. I brought it down to your house in Derry in uh, Wales. Um, we peeled it, we corked it, we pasted it, we put it in the oven, blah, 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 you know how it goes. So what I'm gonna do, I've got this carnation topping, okay? Uh, we just put it through the microwave again just to warm it up. So I'm going to pour it on. So to all the viewers out there, okay, just to give it one of them. Now you had the one with uh, nutmeg and stuff like that, didn't you? This was the plain apple one, you know. So, you know, so, yeah. so what we're going to do now? If I drop dead within the next minute, can you please give me mouth to mouth? Okay, because I know you're very good at that. Okay. However. As much as I enjoy your mouth to mouth, I'm just going to try this. Mm. <laughs> Guess what, everybody? Beautiful. I, I enjoy it so much. Can have another bite. Hi, Carol. Oh, I can fail. Beautiful. So we've done two. You've got some there yourself. Um, you kindly said to me, I can take the other one home. So I'm going to take it home to my brother Daniel and Marcy and Astrid, etc. So Astrid, Marcy and Daniel, on behalf of Carol and myself, we've got a lovely little apple pie for you. Uh, Carol's putting it in the back there. She's put it in the conservatory, everybody, with the, with the towels and stuff like that. So she's she, she telling me it's all right because she's wrapped it up in cling film, which I believe her. However, all I can say is, everybody, thank you very much and good night. <laughs>